Hello everybody, my name is Cybex and today I want to teach you guys how to create a Mohist 1.16.5 modded Minecraft server that also allows for spigot bucket plugins. So the first thing you want to do is create your server folder. In my case, it's going to be called testmc. And then you're just going to go to Google Chrome, type in Mohist 1.16.5. Click on the mohistmc.com, go to download and 1.16.5 and you'll just download this latest success build which is 852 in my case and then once you have it downloaded which I have it downloaded here my downloads here I'm just gonna drag and drop it's actually on my desktop I want to drag and drop it into test and see and I'm just gonna rename the file to Mohist to keep it simple then I'm going to take this start back command I'm just going to go ahead and copy, paste this in, of course. I always put this in the description, so you can just copy it from there and edit it. And I'm just going to change this to mohis.jar, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, all you have to do is run the start bat file. And then it's going to ask you if you want to download Java 11. You just want to type in yes, and it's going to download the recent Java version. And you can see it downloads custom Java right there, so that way it can run on the background. This might take just a second, depending on how fast your internet is, because it is ripping it from the internet. And then once this is downloaded, it's going to go through the process of starting the server. And it's also going to ask you one more question about the EULA. But thankfully for this one, all you have to do is type true inside of the command line, and you don't actually have to exit out, restart, and, and do all the extra things. So anyway, we'll just wait for this to ask and prompt us. So right now it's creating the forge server jar. This should be the forge 1.16.5. And you might see it inside of here. So it's inside of the logs here. And then it's gonna ask you if you need to accept the EULA. Just go ahead and type in true. And that's the last thing you're going to have to do before it fully loads up the server. And then I'll be back when the server fully loads up. Once your server fully loads, you'll just go ahead and type stop inside your console and it'll close out just like mine did. Next, you're going to want to download some mods. So you can just go to Forge Mods 1.16.5 and double click on the Curse Forge website. And then you're going to search for Minecraft 1.16.5. So you know that all the mods are compatible with 1.16.5. And in my case, I really want, we'll do Iron Chess. So we'll go to Files. And make sure that 1.16.5 is able to be downloaded. So now we're going to download the file. And I'm just going to instantly download the file. You're supposed to wait, but I typically don't. And if it asks you, just go ahead and keep the file. It's not a big deal. And what you're going to want to do is just drag and drop this into your plugins. Or drag and drop this into your mods. Like so. Make sure that it's in there. And then for plugins, I really want the essentials plugin so I'm going to type in essentials 1.16.5 and go to the spigot MC site and just download now from external site and then you'll just download the required essentials X core and you can also download the add-ons if you feel like it you might get into those later you might not but for now just download essentials X and I already have this downloaded so I'm not going to download it again so I'm just going to go to my downloads and take Essentials X, go into my test server folder, and where it says plugins, drag and drop it in there. And now, when I start my server, you'll have to wait through the process again, but you will notice that it initiates both the Iron Chest plugin and also it initiates Essentials. Well, while this is going on, we're going to create a actual mod pack that has iron chest inside of it so we can actually test to see if this works so what you're going to do is go to curseforge create custom profile profile name we'll just call it test mc or whatever you want to name it and for minecraft version choose 1.16.5 and make sure it's selected to forge and forge 36.2.0 and hit create it's going to load some files and then you'll just click in it hit these three dots open folder and where it says mods all you're going to want to do is take that same iron chest mod 
and drag it drop it right in and I'm also going to drag in just enough items so I can ensure that it works. What I'm going to do for safety even though I believe this is a client side mod is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into the server as well inside of the mods folder and now I can check to make sure this is up as you can see it says done nine seconds and you're going to get this error message that says that essentials doesn't work uh, that's not a proper error message uh, essentials does work with Mohist it used to not work when it was uh, SpongeForge and um, they recommend a nucleus but for Mohist or Mohist it does work so you can ignore this message we will see that essentials does work as you can see it enables essentials there's no errors or anything and then when we actually go into CurseForge and start this test and see as you can see install mods 2 iron chest and just enough items we'll play it and then we will just hit play as you would for anything and you can go ahead and understand the risk you don't need to care about that it's just a warning and then I'll prepare finalize load and when it loads you'll see that I have four mods loaded so you can see it initializes it right here as well And then you'll go to multiplayer, do not show again, and type in localhost. And hit done. Let me turn off that. And then you'll go ahead and log in. And you'll see that you're successfully in the game. And you have just enough items. And also, if I opt myself, like so, and go game mode 1 you can see that the iron chest mod was installed and if you do the help command you can see that essentials is installed as well anyway that's about it for this tutorial if you do enjoy these types of videos please like subscribe um, I will have this server file as well with the mods installed and the plugins installed inside of my patreon so if you pay five dollars for that per month or you just pay it once just to get the access to the server file you want uh, that's perfectly fine. But anyway, thank you guys so much. And like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.